We're back with a welding positioner tips and tricks, I guess. Chris Winarski's back again with a welding fabrication tech tip for everybody. Today's tech tip is welding positioners. This is my homemade cordless welding positioner. Pretty cool. Runs off a Milwaukee battery. I uh, just adjust my little thing. I still need a chuck for it, but I got a knife. And my little tip is track of your settings what i do is i keep a little notebook this is the only notebook but mostly specifically for flanges and stuff so here's my thing and this is my first time really doing an eight inch flange I'm just going here, four, inch, four inch four inch and you have to get this thing dialed in like really good to actually be perfect otherwise you're trying to catch up on it and it outruns you a little bit or you're moving too fast so to get that perfect setup, like speed and amps and everything, get you going really, really good. So I didn't have a setting, but now I figured it out because I had six inch schedule 40, which is really close to that. This might just take a little bit more amps. So that was raised face flange to 45 elbow though. 40, el flange, yeah, 45 and elbow on each side or whatever it was. So this time what I did was I just wrote down eight inch schedule 40 pipe flange to raised, raised face flange. And then my speed found it out to be 28, 29 for the speed and amps was about 141. That was the low end with 332nd wire because I did two passes. And the first one was eighth inch with 148 and that was the inside. And I just wrote that down and I'll keep track for the outside. And this gets you pretty dang on good with in the ballpark within a couple amps and a couple speed adjustments so really good tip for you guys and that's just one thing i like to keep track of sometimes you can keep track of your other stuff like pipe if you do scratch start and stuff on pipe a lot and everything that's up to you if you want if you do it a lot because it's good and handy to have i don't really do it but i start to sometimes pipe stainless steel four and schedule 40 beveled on each end 145 amps out for the first pass or whatever and 115 for the cap so i don't really keep track of that stuff but definitely the positioner is really good tip for you guys so little tech tip for everybody and ooh, let me know if you want to see a full video on my little welding positioner too i didn't get one of me building it but i could show you guys a little overview of it so kind of cool um yeah chris winarski signing out and here's a little overview of that and that one still didn't get to bottom yet